Hey guys, I'm just checking the uh, camera angle with my mirror. How are you doing? Uh, today is Friday, is it the 5th of December? Yes, December 5th, and it's our last day with um, Mike's uh, sister Diane, her husband John, and his brother Joe, and his wife Chris. I'm currently uploading a video from the last two, three days, kind of a combo of a couple of outfits of the day, and we went to the strip yesterday and um, I did stop at Sephora. They went into Madame Tussauds Wax Museum at the Venetian and I went into Sephora because I've been at Madame Tussauds several times and they got some funny pictures. I put one of my husband in my video but I got a couple of samples. Unfortunately I have no idea what they are but I got some samples so got that from Sephora. I don't know. And um, I had, I was just curious to see what they had with the Christmas stuff, what they had left. And I, oh, and then I got my birthday gift because I hadn't gotten that one yet. And it is Makeup Forever. Hmm. It's a lipstick and a mascara. We'll just have to see here. I'm on the beds so if the camera's shaking, I apologize. It's another bed vlog. So there, here's this little lipstick, mini lipstick in rouge. And, well, that's really cute. Looks like a nice color too. Um, a lot of times with these darker and brighter lipsticks, I'll put them on and then blot them or put a little bit on and smooth it into my lips so it isn't quite as strong and uh, potentially garish. And then I got the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And that is in black. Let's see, Smoky Extravagant. And I'm not gonna open it up because it doesn't really Okay, Smoky Extravagant, Use using the rounded base, apply from root to tip. Next, use the precision tip in a vertical motion to emphasize and separate lashes. And then uh, Rouge Artist Natural N9 is a lipstick, moisturizing, soft shine lipstick. Use a lip brush, apply lipstick in the center of the lips and blend outwards. So those are the instructions for Makeup Forever. All right, and I'm not gonna open the mascara because I want to, oh, sorry, that's my computer. Um, I wanna use it. So they had, I don't remember whose video I had seen uh, about the, um, some of the Christmas things that they had at Sephora, but they have this four pack of Bite lipsticks and it's a high pigment lip pencil. And the colors are pomegranate, rhubarb, sable, and winterberry. So starting from the top down. So I got one of these for me and one for my daughter Liz for Christmas. Um, it has a kind of rubberized case. And then it's packaged with this paper. Oh, and there's a mirror in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Inside the case and there you go, those are the colors. And they swatch pretty true to the base. So these were $25. Plus I had a $15 off coupon, was it $60? I don't remember what the amount was, but, um, so I used my coupon, I was happy that I remembered. And then I got this. The Gimme Lip Set, oh I think it was Crystal. Crystallis07, I think is her channel, and maybe she was the one who was talking about these. But you get a Bite lip pencil, an Urban Decay lipstick, Marc Jacobs gloss, it looks like NARS gloss, Buxom gloss, and Smashbox. Let's see. Bite Beauty high pigment pencil in Mon Meritage. The Buxom mini full on lip cream in White Russian, which I love. Marc Jacobs Beauty Lust for Lacquer and Kissability. 
NARS Cosmetics Lip Gloss and Orgasm, Smashbox Cosmetics The Legendary Lip Gloss and Pout, and Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick and Naked Rouge. So I got this one, I got one for me, and I got one for Mandy, um, Mike's daughter. Got two of those. And then the last thing that I got was the NARS Virtual Domination Cheek Palette. I decided to go ahead and get it. This was like 60 some bucks. It was pretty darn expensive. Let's see here. So, oh, why did I get a discounted price? Oh, I guess it was the $15 off. So the uh, NARS palette, this one was $65. But it got really good reviews from everyone. And then, um, so, the subtotal was $150 and the tax was $12.15. And I met, um, or I talked to, they had an esthetician there. She lives in California, but she was there doing some training and um, she works for Murad. And she was very delightful. We talked, we shared some tips, and I told her how I like to shave my face and get the peach fuzz off. And she was kind of surprised at that. She was young, probably in her 20s. And um, so I told her about that and I shaved my face today. I like to do that time, from time to time because it gets rid of the peach fuzz so your makeup goes on smoother. Any liquid products that you're using and um, any powders won't stick to the little hairs. So it looks better. Oh darn it, where did I... Um, then the palette that I, let's see, what else did we talk about? Oh, I told her about, I watched, got it from Mary Ellen um, when I watched her video, and I haven't commented Mary Ellen, I apologize, in her Sensational Over 60 channel, and she had been talking about um, a tip that she got from Tati, uh, and Tati had uploaded a video apparently with her tips. I didn't see that one. Um, I haven't had a lot of time, but, um, and how she would put her pencils in her bra and because usually when I'm getting my makeup on I don't have my bra on I will just stick it under my leg and warm it up so I use that with my eyebrow pencil and then my eyeliner pencil and it works really well because it warms it up and it, the pencils go on much smoother and um, hang on I'm gonna go get that um, the palette that I got at Walgreens and I want to show you what I used today. It turned out really nice. So hold on. Okay, I'm back. Alrighty, and I really love that Clump Crusher Extensions Mascara. I've been using that ever since I got it and it's not really bothering my eyes and it's working great. So here's the palette. Just to refresh your memory, it has the pink sparkly cover. It's a magnetized closure which is really nice and then um, comes with a dual-ended uh, applicator and the little eyeliner but so today I use this under the brow bone and in the inner corner of my eye and then I just put this all over the lid and just blended it out and it's really nice so what I'll do is I will just swatch all of them some are better than others so I will just let's see I'll just start on the top row. That one you're probably not going to be able to see because it really just blends into my arm. In fact, I can't even really see it. That you can see better. Yeah, let's see. And then this one. So there you go. So that is the top row here. This top row. And then I will do the bottom row. And I'm going from left to right as I'm looking at the palette. Mike was going to go out for a walk. My ankle is still bothering me. Um, but then he's been getting some work 
phone calls. And my poor house sitter, Bruno, is just over exuberant and has all sorts of energy. And so I talked to her and I talked to um, Janet Montessori. So I think we got it figured out. So starting from one, two, yeah. Starting from this kind of pinky one, heading that way, that is the bottom row, and I will show you those. So really pretty nice. They are very uh, soft, not super powdery. I didn't get a lot of fallout, even from this bottom one here that I used all over the lid. I really didn't get a lot of fallout from it, so. Um, and that's this last one here on my elbow. So those are the swatches of this palette. It was $5 at Walgreens. I didn't get the other one because I typically don't wear blues and greens, plus I have plenty of eyeshadows I don't need anymore, but I thought this would be fun, um, a fun one to try. Oh, and another thing when I was talking to the esthetician, um, I told she was showing me the new, what's the new Urban Decay palette? Um, it came out, it has, what, five eyeshadows, a couple of blushes, a bronzer, mascara lip thing. I don't remember what it's called, but it, it's new. It released, it launched recently. And um, so she was showing me that one, and I said, I t explained to her that at my age, I really have to be careful with those really shimmery, metallic shadows. And she was kind of confused about that. She didn't really understand why. So on my old creepy hand, Crepey, not creepy, but on my old crepey hand, what I did was I took the really glittery, shimmery, kind of pink color from that palette, and I put it on my hand, and then I put one of the, um, just the matte browns from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette on my hand, and I showed her, and she, you know, kind of up close, and she was like, I, I guess I don't really, she was still kind of confused, and then I moved my hand back, and she could see how the glittery, shimmery one really emphasized the texture in my skin and how the matte one really looked much smoother. So I think she understood. So we talked for quite a bit and, and um, she thanked me and I thanked her and it was just a very pleasant exchange of information and I told her about my experience with the Retin-A and yeah, so, you know, maybe down the line I will try some Murad products. At this point, I'm happy with what I'm using, and I'm really liking that Almay Ultra Calming, is that what it's called? That new moisturizer that I got, I'm really liking that. And, yeah, so, and I've been using my Obagi in the baggie. <laughs> I'm so classy, aren't I? Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, and have a wonderful weekend coming up. And I will just uh, talk to you in my next video. And thanks to all my new subscribers. And, of course, thank you to all the ones of you who've been with me for a while. And I'll just talk to you soon. Please leave a comment below if you have a question or just want to comment. And I'll try to get back to you. I know I haven't been very good at that. Um, we've just been on the go. So... Okay, I'll stop rambling now. All right, you guys, thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, and then tonight, sorry. Oh, well, that was pleasant. Um, tonight, it's the last night uh, when Mike's family is in town, so we're going to go, we're going to see Larev at 7, and then we're going to get something to eat afterwards. We might just go to the link and just grab something light. And uh, then hopefully we're going to do the high roller tonight. The weather hasn't been very good. The sun kind of came out for a while today, but it looks like it's still kind of cloudy. So hopefully we'll be able to do the high roller because if it's really cloudy and overcast, you're not going to see a whole lot. So, But if we do, I will definitely um, film some of that so you guys can see it. Okay, thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye.